welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So you've got the creativity, the Empress card up here, and this is the card that is ruled by um, Libra. It's ruled by Venus, rather, and Venus rules Libra. So, you you know, a lot of things are beginning for you. You've got that brand new moon over there, and uh, it looks like abundance is coming to you. So, you know, everything that you've been wishing for and hoping for, that comfortable life is coming for you. And you're going to be very, very productive right now. You're going through quite a productive phase right now. And you're collaborating with a lot of people over here. Uh, you know, you can see four people sitting around this table. So you might be, you know, going through a lot of meetings or meeting a lot of people that can help you in your career or help you in your advancement of life. It's also a very stable card. So you're reaching a position of quite of a lot of stability. This is the Four of Rods, and this is usually a card um, about celebration, about victory, about getting through the first part of your projects. You've got the celebration card in itself over here that is showing that whatever you've been going through, uh, you know, whatever obstacles and challenges you've been facing, it seems like, you know, uh, you've been very, very... Um, victorious in it. And this could also be that you're getting together with a lot of friends and, you know, uh, managing to, um, you know, making new friends as well. So going out and having a lot of celebration there. So in the past, you've got some kind of legal uh, situation that you dealt with. This is the Knight of uh, Rods over here. You can see these two people have battling with each other over there. But it looks like you were successful in that particular circumstance because you got the success card immediately afterwards. And there's a lot of, uh, you know, um, party favors in the air there uh, so it looks like whatever that was whatever that battle was you were successful in it and you have conquered it because uh, this person's riding the tiger in victory so whatever that legal circumstances you had to fight for it but it looks like you won in it now going into the future you've got the burden card over here so looking back to the past to get some lessons on how to deal with this uh, whatever you've been going through. Now, this is the Six of Swords, so moving away from a difficult circumstance. You might have, um, you know, encountered that legal circum uh, um, problems, but you are now, uh, you know, having a new vision for the, par uh, for the future, and you're going to be moving forward. You've got the Morality card over here, um, and this is about feeling a bit restricted here. You can see this person's hands in, uh, are tied. Maybe, you know, you're having to, to monitor what you're saying in this particular uh, card, and maybe even, you know, doing a re evaluating all your value systems as well with this morality card but you are feeling a bit restricted uh, right now so something has happened you're still carrying a lot of burdens and responsibilities and it's making you feel a little restricted going into the future you're still not quite out of uh, out of whatever's happened even though you were victorious something seems to still be binding you from the past and um, you know causing you to to feel uh, as though you can't uh, you don't have any say in the matter it seems to be disempowering you. You might need to get some advice from somebody uh, in order for you to move on, somebody to, to show you the way. So those are the energies for that week. Oops. So I'm going to be using the um, Anna K Tarot for the main read. You've got the devil card over here, and this is about being very, very focused on work. Uh, this is the card ruled by Saturn. So you might be feeling as though you're very restricted in your work life. Uh, maybe you're having to do a lot of long hours. Maybe somebody around your work situation is, uh, you know, causing some grief. They're being a bit of a bully and, you know, trying to control you. Now, this could also be that you might be even dealing, if it's on the personal life and not in your work front, you could be dealing with a Capricorn person. Uh, the devil card is ruled by Capricorn. Uh, you might have a little bit of a codependent relationship going on there. And you might be feeling very, very negative, very miserable about whatever's going on. Maybe this person manipulates you quite a bit. Now... What's happening with you? You've got the Six of Cups over there, and it's crossed by the Ace of Pentacles. So you are reminiscing a lot from, uh, about the past. The Six of Cups is also about an offer coming in for you, and this might be an offer for a new job with this Ace of Pentacles sitting next to it. So there could be somebody that you maybe you worked in this place before, because the Six of Cups always deals with you know the issues from the past. 
But this could also be that somebody that you worked with in the past is going to make a new offer for a new job with that Ace of Pentacles. And it's going to bring in a lot of money. It's going to start a new cycle for you. So there could be an offer coming in for you. And it's going to mean that you're going to be very, very focused on that work as well uh, with that Devil card over here. But having said that, you know, you've got a lot of money coming in as well on this devil card over here. So there's something, uh, a new job offer. It might mean that you're going to have to work pretty hard for it, but it's going to bring in a lot of money. Now, in the past, you've got the four of rods, so you have been doing a lot of collaboration, communication. Uh, you might even have been doing a lot of, um, you know, travel uh, as well, but speaking to a lot of people, um, you know, working in a team uh, of people as well. And you've been working pretty well. You've got the seven of pentacles, so working pretty hard and doing a lot of investment and waiting for things to pay off over there. So you are putting a lot of energy and effort into your work as well. You're very, very focused on it. It hasn't produced any rewards as yet, so you might be feeling a bit disappointed there. And there you've got the Three of Pentacles on your mind, so you are focusing on that work, focusing on your skills, focusing on trying to get this project going or get this job going. So you are very, very work-focused. And it looks like there is some kind of job coming in for you there. Like I said, an offer coming in for you from maybe some of you worked in the past. And it's going to be, you know, take a lot of work and effort on your part, but it's going to bring in a lot of money. Now, you've got the new moon coming in over here for you, and this is about feeling a bit, you know, maybe you've been going through a phase where you've been feeling very confused, a bit depressed with the moon card. It's always about things being hidden and things needing to come to light. So maybe not all the facts have been revealed over here, but this is a brand new moon cycle here. So some clarity will come in with this particular deck. It shows the new moon coming in. So all that confusion, you know, you've got that dark moon over there, where you've been in the dark about things, things are going to start coming to light and things are going to start looking up. You've got the Knight of Rods over here, so you are feeling very, very tired. You've been working extremely hard on whatever project you've been working. You've been very defensive of it as well. Uh, you've got a lot of clouds over there, so it's not been smooth sailing at all for you. And you're feeling very lonely, very isolated, as though you're carrying a lot of burdens and responsibility. This is almost the end of that particular cycle. So it's just a little longer that you need to hang in there. Um, you know, you will get through it. You've got the Nine of Cups. So, you know, just hanging in over there will bring you the Nine of Cups. So this is celebration, achievement, victory, um, you know, getting a wish fulfilled as well with that Nine of Cups. So that is coming in for you there. So just hang in there. There's a decision that you're going to have to make uh, soon, and you can see you are agonizing about it as well because you've got that two of rods over there. So there is a decision uh, that is going to be coming in for you over there. So there's a new something new that you have to do. Maybe it's uh, a new pathway in life or even travel, uh, but it looks like there's some kind of big decision, and it looks like you're going to have to think about it. You are still you, you know that there is a decision, so you are agonizing a lot about it. So you've got the um, Eight of Pentacles as well as the final outcome. So you've got that Two of Rods making, trying to make a decision over there, uh, the Eight of Pentacles and the Ten of Rods. So, uh, you know, there's the, a new offer that's coming in over here. It's going to involve some kind of learning, some kind of study as well, and some kind of focus on on that work, quite focusing quite a bit on it and becoming an expert at it. With that Ten of Rods, it looks like this, uh, you know, this responsibilities and all this hard work will soon come to an end. You have been feeling very isolated and very restricted. You can see the, all these walls up, and there's been a lot of problems where you work at. But you have to make a decision as to whether to move on or whether to stay. Uh, and it looks like, you know, if you make a decision to move on, it's going to involve further study as far as this work goes, but also learning new skills, maybe becoming an expert at it. So this particular cycle of really hard work and problems is now coming to an end. All this responsibility and burden coming to an end uh, where you're feeling so disempowered, but you will have to make that decision. So it's going to be up to you on how to move forward. You can either stay in this new place or you can move on. And if you move on, it's going to take a lot of hard work and effort, but it looks like a lot of money will come in for, for you with that. This offer is really nice. It's a really sweet offer. There's flowers in the cups there. So it will blossom and, and grow. Uh, and you are very, very focused on the work over here with that Three of Pentacles over here. So this offer, that new offer that comes in is going to be something that, um, you know, brings in the money. It's going to bring in a new learning and new skills as well. And it's going to make you pretty happy with that Nine of Cups. So I'm going to just draw some cards from the um, Angel Tarot for the Oracle read.
So you've got uh, the ten of air, which is an end of a cycle. So the end of a difficult situation, embrace the change, expect things to get better from now, recovering from an addiction. So you are, uh, you know, at an end of a very, very difficult situation. It looks like an end of a legal contract as well with this ten of air, and you will be moving on from it. So things are, you know, these, the cycle is now over. You will have to make that decision and move on. You've got the knight of fire over you. It says a sudden, a sudden event that needs immediate action. Time is of the essence. Think things carefully. So um, you're going to have to decide pretty quickly about this particular offer, whether you want to accept it. You are agonizing about, about it, but a decision will have to be made pretty quickly uh, with this uh, night of air here uh, for you to move on. You are thinking about it quite a bit. You can see that you've got that lover's card over here. Uh, and it might be a, um, a job that involves travel or moving away with that night of fire. Uh, but, you know, it's going to give you a lot of freedom, this new job that you take on. And you've got that turn of fire. So too much work, except help from others. Life is out of balance, stress-related illnesses. So you've got that nine of rods of air showing all the stress and all the difficulties that you're going through. And you can see how stressed out you are with this ten of rods as well. So you've got two of that ten of rods over there. So this particular job might actually give you that freedom and get you away because you've got the ending of the Ten of Rods over there, the t ending of that difficult cycle, and the Ten of Fire is the ending of that difficult cycle. So uh, you know, you'll have to make a decision pretty quickly, but it will give you a lot of freedom, this new job, and end all these difficult um, problems that you've been going through. And also, it will also bring in a lot of money as well with this Ace of Pentacles. So you are at a, crossing, a crossroads in your life. You can see that with that two of rods at the crossroads of your life. And you are going to have to make a decision. And pretty quickly soon, so you can't procrastinate about it. Um, so, uh, you know, choose something that's going to give you that freedom and give you that money. And it's probably going to bring in a lot of travel as well. And allow you the opportunity to uh, specialize in whatever you're doing. Or become an expert at it. So uh, I hope this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Good